Welcome to episode 44 of Tools in the Hall. This episode is all about Cobra Tech Knives. <laughs> I don't know why it seemed like a Jaguar sound was the right sound effect to use for Cobra Tech Knives. <laughs> That's not what a Cobra sounds like. I was first turned on to Cobra Tech Knives years ago by a buddy of mine who was a Cornwell dealer. He got out of the business a while back, but he was pushing the Cobra Tech Knives on me and saying, you gotta get these on the truck, man, they sell like crazy. And I contacted Cobra Tech and I became a dealer for them. Their minimums were a little high for me to get into, so I, I couldn't afford it at the time. But as many of you know, I'm also a federally licensed firearms dealer. And a lot of the distributors that I buy guns and gun accessories through sell cutlery of all kinds. I, I buy a lot of my products now through a distributor called MGE Wholesale. Great guys, very helpful, very easy. And they carry Cobra Tech knives. So I thought it'd be a really good idea uh, last Christmas to stock up on some, kind of see how well they'd sell, they sold and uh, I went in with Cobra Tech and got some Buck and CRKT knives. You can see a video of that. I'll leave a link to it up here. Uh, and that's all about a bunch of Cobra Tech knives and, and some other brands that I got in. But the demand for the Cobra Tech knives has been extremely high. So I decided to make a big order of four of the more popular styles that I could get my hands on and put those on the truck. So I have a bunch of different, I have a bunch of knives in four different styles. I wanted to go over all of them with you, show you the really nice packaging and some of the details of what it's like to own the knives and get warranty service if you need it. So let's dig in. The first model I'm gonna show you is the Gray King Cobra. Now, Cobra Tech makes a lot of different styles of knife. The ones that I have here, all four have the same basic function in that they are out the front knives. So you slide a switch, it extends the blade, then you pull the switch and retracts the blade. All of the knives that I have come in these fabulous high impact black cases and they have these four latches on them. And when you open it up, they're beautifully foam lined and in the package comes the nylon sheath. It has a Velcro belt loop on it. And you open it by opening the plastic latch on the front and then opening the flap to expose the knife. Really high quality. These things seem very durable, ruggedly built, perfect for everyday carry. Also in the box is um, a little signature card they have for, uh, for the build. And here's something really important, and this is the warranty registration card. This is very important. Do not throw this away when you get your knife. Follow the instructions on here, go on the website, and my finger is covering a registration number on the bottom of each of the cards. You submit that number, that, that activates your warranty for life. So take advantage of that, make sure you register it and don't lose that card. So all the knives that I'm showing you have this same packaging. This is a Grey King Cobra. And it has a beautiful gray, almost like a titanium color finish. And this really cool inlay here. It looks like carbon fiber, it looks almost kind of holographic. You can see the I don't know if you can see it too well in the video, but it's got this really cool design in there that kind of kind of shifts around visually when you look at it. They have a glass breaker on the bottom and a belt and pocket clip on the back. This style has the switch on the flat of the knife and others that I'm going to show you have have it on the edge here. A lot of guys prefer it there. It's uh, it's it's easy to hold when you place it flat in your hand. And to extract the blade, you just slide the switch up and out comes the blade. And then to retract the blade, just pull the, 
the switch down and then it goes. It's almost too fast to see, so I'll do it again for you. And you can feel how solidly these knives are built when you hold them and when you start extracting and retracting the blade. They do have a safety feature that disengages the spring on the blade if it hits, if it hits an object. I won't try it on my bare skin because it's, it will still hurt, but if we look at, oh, I should have been more prepared. Hold on one second while I find. So I have a cardboard box here. If you extend the blade into the box, you can see how it does not ex retract, extend all the way rather, and it has disengaged the spring. To re-engage it, just flip it out. And now you're good to go again and you can retract and extend like normal. And in the box, it left a little bit of a, it left a little dimple. I mean, it, it broke the surface, but if that was your skin, it would, yeah, I mean, it would cut you a little bit, but it wouldn't, it wouldn't cut you that bad. And it's, it's a very clever design that they put in there. Easy to manage, easy to use. These are great everyday carry knives. Next is that same King Cobra model, but in blue. And the blue is a very popular color. I tried to load up on the blue, but they had a lower inventory of the blue ones than they did of the gray ones. Well, no surprise, it's so popular. Same, same kind of case, foam. There's your, there's your sheath. Under the sheath is the product registration, the warranty registration card. And the finish on this one is beautiful, anodized blue. With the same features as the gray one, has the glass breaker, the belt and pocket clip, the carbon fiber inlays, front and back under the clip there, and the slide switch on the flat of the handle. The, the, Blade styles vary as well. This is the drop point style. You can tell because it has this rounded front to it. There's a Tonto style that has a straight and then an angle here. And they have some double-edged uh, blades they have with or without serrations. It seems to me that the serrations are not as popular as a smooth blade. So I didn't get any serrated blades in this order. If I have a demand for them, I'll stock up on them, but right now people seem very happy with the smooth blades. So those are the ones that I opted to get. You know, and if you're wondering what goes into my purchasing decisions like that, it is, well, first of all, I have to buy all my inventory from my suppliers. So I lay out all the money and then I only get money when I, when I sell stuff and get paid. And that's the same in any, any of the tool businesses really any businesses like that. So I only have so much money to spend on tools. And if I have to decide where I'm gonna most effectively spend that money, it's gonna be on things that I think can be most popular. If people want to order certain things, they can, and I'm happy to accommodate that. But if it comes to buying something for inventory that I'm gonna be putting in the display case, then I have to go with what's most popular because I've only got so much money. And, you know, you don't get rich in, in the tool business. So an order of knives like this after I hit my order minimums is, is, is you know, it's kind of high. So that pretty much did it for the, my inventory budget for the week because any money that I have left over, I have to spend on special orders and things. So it, it's, it's tough to juggle, but you can do it. You just have to be smart about where you're, where, you're, where you're putting your money and make sure that you have a demand for something. I wouldn't go all in on these knives if I had a question as to whether or not they'd be popular. I know these are gonna be popular. I know they're gonna sell. This next one is the Large FSX in gray, slightly different style in that it does not have the carbon fiber inlays, but still has that gray titanium colored or pewter color, whatever color you call that body to it. Has the glass breaker has your belt and pocket clip. And this is the one with the switch on the side instead of on the flat, like the King Cobras. 
And the blade style on these is the double edge blade with no serrations. They do have a version that does have serrations, but this dagger style, I'm gonna guess is gonna be the, the first style to sell out once I put these on the truck. Everyone seems to love these. And the four style I got is that large FSX, but in blue. Uh, I think that blue color is just gorgeous. And Cobra Tech does have other finish options, but not all of them are available to me through my distributor. So I, again, I'm limited to what I can buy. I'm limited to my product selection. Um, unless I changed up, you know, how many, uh, uh, how many knives I actually sell and I'm able to afford to buy them from Cobra Tech directly as a dealer, but I can't do that right now. So, you know, my, I, I get what I can get and I'm happy to, to get anything that I can from these guys because they're such great knives. So this is the Tonto blade style. So you go, it's flat, it's straight there, and then the angle there and straight on the rest of the blade. Unlike that drop point that was curved or that dagger style, which was double-edged. And the same deal in here comes with the nylon sheath, warranty registration card, and in the, the ruggedized or rather the, uh, the high impact plastic case that it comes in. Terrific knives. Um, I haven't really dealt with the people directly at Cobra Tech for anything yet. I, I don't know that I would have to do anything beyond helping a customer with some warranty work, maybe, but everything that I have sold of theirs and other Cobra Tech knives that I know people own, I've never heard of anyone having a problem with them at all. So. Maybe someday I'll be able to take advantage of their warranty and work directly with Cobra Tech. But for right now, I'm purchasing purchasing their products through a distributor, and and I get them that way. So if something changes, um, you know, it might open up a, a whole new world of product availability and styles and stuff. But for right now, these are the popular ones that I'm buying through one of my biggest firearms distributors. I hope that this was interesting to you. I'll give you some exposure to some new knives that perhaps you haven't seen before. If you have seen them before, then uh, then you know maybe you own them, maybe you wanna own them. Let me know if you want to uh, to purchase one from me. I can certainly uh, take an order from you and, and ship it out to you. I'm keeping these close to the vest until, uh, well, I'm shooting this video on a Tuesday night. Uh, and by the time you see it, these will long since been, been on display in the truck and will probably be sold out, but I promised my Thursday morning customers that I wouldn't put these on the truck until Thursday morning because they it's tough when you get your customers toward the end of the week. They don't necessarily get a chance to see all the stuff that I put on the truck on Monday. Uh, Monday and Tuesday, I'm usually pretty full. By the time Wednesday and Thursday roll around, what I purchased for that week is getting depleted. And these knives are so popular, they're going to be gone pretty quick. So I got to stagger when I put the products out. And these will go out Thursday morning, and my first stop, uh, in fact, the first customer I see at my first stop is a guy who is very eager to see the shipment because I told him I made it and I promised him I, I give him first crack to look and, and see what I got. So hopefully uh, Ken is, is at, uh, at Capital Metro is, is gonna be happy with what I got. He already owns some. I, I hope he he takes an interest in these. If he And you know certainly he will, other people will too because Gosh, I just can't get over how popular they are. They're, Cobra Tech really struck a terrific chord with these, and everyone seems to be very happy buying them. I'm extremely happy to be able to carry them, and this will be a regular item on the truck from now on. So keep watching the channel because I've got a bunch of interesting videos that I really do hope you find fun to watch. I did some reviews on Milwaukee M18 pole saw and a hatchet chainsaw because I had to do a bunch of cleanup in my yard after an ice storm, and I figured what better opportunity to put some products to the test by buying them myself 
and using them and see what they're like over time. So check those videos out as, re as well as our regular tools in the haul segments. So do me a favor and click down here now to subscribe so that you don't miss any of it. Thank you so much for watching. And remember, use a tool. Don't be one.